Oh my gosh. Another rant. A woman in Bullhead, Arizona was arrested for handing out food in the park to the homeless because the food she was handing out was not packaged. She was making homemade food from, you could see there was like a grill or a, a, a hot plate or some kind of thing she was cooking on and feeding these homeless people a fresh meal. And she got arrested for it because she doesn't have a permit. Excuse me, people. We know why this law was made. Because people are helping the homeless out there. And they're not just handing them a package of bread and a jar of peanut butter. They're giving them hot meals that they made themselves. And so the city and the state of Arizona wants to benefit from that. Not only do these people take money out of their own pocket to help feed these homeless people a good hot meal, but now they got to take more money out of their pocket to buy some fracking permit? Really? That's what you're going to do to them? What would you prefer? They not pay the home, feed the homeless at all? Maybe you think that 78-year-old woman not, should not get joy in helping those homeless people at all. Maybe you think if she did that, them homeless people would move on. No, they won't. They will not move on. They were there before people started helping them. They're going to be there after people started helping them. They may even become more of a nuisance. Because they may have to resort to things like theft to eat. Or digging in garbage cans to eat. And you know, sometimes when a hungry person digs in a garbage can, they don't always pick up the garbage they pull out first. But you want to profit off of their generosity to feed the homeless by forcing them to buy a permit. Not only would they have to buy that permit, they would have to submit a uh, request for that permit. And that permit could then be denied. And let's ask this question. Is that permit just a permit that has been newly made, it, made to cook food at a park and freely give it to the homeless? Or is it a permit that classifies that 78-year-old woman as a food vendor for which she would have to pay taxes on? What kind of permit is that? And what are all the obligations in owning that permit? How often will she have to renew that permit? Will she have to pay taxes on that permit? Will she have to keep records of how much she spends to feed the homeless? And maybe have it in later on end up costing her more because of how much money she is spending. 
Greedy Arizona Republicans. How much you want to bet their economy is not doing that good? So now they're trying to take that money from others. Find every way they can to get every little penny they can. Why don't you take a look into some of the politicians' finances? I'm sure you'll find where some of your state's money is gone. How many Republican politicians have been caught using campaign money and office or government money to help renovate their home or build a home or buy a home? Sarah Palin comes to mind. I know of one other. I can't remember his name. But I'd be saying about now is it's time to start digging into the economy or the money of a lot of these freaking people who are not spending money like in Georgia. They're not spending the money they've got to extend Medicare, they're not spending the money they got for other programs, start looking into that and see where that freaking money is going. And then start looking at their bank accounts and see if some of it isn't going there. Because if it, any governor or senator or state representative that is not Spending the money they have received on programs that they've received that money for has got to be pocketing some of it. This is ridiculous. 78-year-old woman goes out to help the homeless and they want to force her to buy a permit. And they arrest her for doing it. And she can serve because she refused to take their deal. She can end up serving four months in prison for feeding the homeless. Now, I could see her ending up being in trouble. And she's out feeding the homeless and the homeless start dropping tech. That's one thing, but they're not. They're just getting their stomach full with a hot meal during the time of this season that it's starting to get cold. And some of those homeless aren't just drug dealers or old people. They're families who may have a job but cannot afford to buy or rent a home because they don't get paid enough. So this woman is out there helping them. And you want to penalize her for that. You want her to force her to pay the Arizona government money to be allowed to be kind to some homeless people. Oh my God. Who the hell do you think you are? That's number one against her constitutional right. As long as she is not selling that food and she is just giving it away it is her constitutional right to do what she chooses with the food she purchases. That would be like telling you that if you're going to buy Christmas gifts, you have only can buy Christmas gifts for the people that live in your home. If you buy Christmas gifts... For people who don't live in your home and are not your family in your home, you need to buy a permit to hand out Christmas gifts to anybody else. Do 
You're ridiculous. And I hope she wins her lawsuit. Because Arizona, what you are doing is unconstitutional. And you need to knock it off.